Hi friends, welcome back to Cadable. This is Engineer Brian Umar, and today we'll make this uh, exercise in SolidWorks. Uh, this would be practice exercise uh, 22 of this playlist, and I will provide its file uh, in the description link. And I will use this drawing uh, for this tutorial. And you can download these files from this link. And uh, uh, I will provide its link. So let's go to your SolidWorks and you can see that i have already created this drawing so i will make a new select new and select ok now we are in solidworks interface so i will close this file and uh, i will change my background to plain white and i will set my units to mmgs okay uh, so i will start this drawing from uh, top plane and uh, you can start from uh, front plane or right plane as well but i will start from top plane and you can see that this triangle dimensions are 85 by 140 and this uh, extrusion is 18 okay so let's go to your solidworks and i will select top plane select a sketch view normal and i will make one center rectangle here and this dimension is 85 and uh, this dimension this horizontal one is uh, 140 millimeters okay you can see that and uh, this extrusion is 18 so first I will rotate my model and I'll go to your features boss extrude and uh, I will change the direction and also I will change the extrusion depth which is 18 and select ok and now I will make this cut out you can see that so let's go to your solidworks I will select this face select sketch view normal and this time i will create a corner rectangle here okay this is symmetric because you can see that this dimension is 18 and this dimension is 18 so this uh, length would be 85 minus 36 that is 18 and 18 so let's make uh, a, a corner rectangle here and uh, i will make one line one center line connecting this point to this point sorry control z I will make a center line connecting this point to this point select this point and make vertical and now you can see that uh, these two lines are symmetric okay so this dimension is uh, 18 you can see that and uh, let's make this dimension 18 and now you can see that it is uh, uh, it is fully defined in this direction but I can still drag uh, this dimension so i have to constrain this and you can see that it's uh, its height is 3 so i will constrain it so that it will not move it will be fixed now you can see that it is fully defined and i can use uh, cut out or cut extrusion i'll go to the features extruded cut and uh, i will use this option through all and select ok and now you can see that this uh, uh, cut extrusion is created in this part and uh, next is I will create two holes you can see that 16 by 2 so its diameter is 16 and uh, its dimension is 30 from uh, this uh, this edge and 35 from this edge and its pitch is 70 so let's select this face select a sketch view normal and first I will make two random circles select this circle hold control key select this circle and i will uh, make uh, equal okay uh, this dimension is 16 so this dimension would also be 16 because they are equal in relation okay uh, next is uh, this dimension is 35 and this pitch is 70 so let's go to a smart dimension select this edge select this center and this dimension is 35 millimeters also this pitch is uh, 70 and you can see that this dimension is 30 so this dimension is 30 so this dimension would also be 30 so let's make this dimension 30 okay and now you can see that uh, it is fully defined select this uh, center point select this center point and make them horizontal and now you can see that both circles are uh, fully defined you can see here and you can see that the color is turned into black from blue and this dimension would also be 35 okay you can see that so exit this sketch and uh, now i will go to here features extruded cut and i will select 
this is sketch i'll go to here contours select clear selection so that both contours will be selected and uh, i can use this option up to next or through all both options will work uh, let's select this option up to next okay and now you can see that two holes are created in this part and uh, next is uh, i will create uh, uh, this uh, cylinder and it is a little bit tricky and uh, i will uh, use this back face uh, as a reference plane and uh, this bigger diameter is 40 and this smaller diameter is 18 and it is 38 millimeters uh, away from this plate and 20 millimeters away from this edge okay so let's make it uh, let's select this plane as a reference plane select a sketch and i will rotate it and i will use this option normal okay uh, this one so let's make uh, two circles two concentric circles and uh, this dimension is uh, 40 the bigger one and the smaller one is 18 so let's make this dimension 40 units and this dimension is uh, let's say it is 18 okay so i will change it to 18 you can see that it is not fully defined so this dimension is 38 so let's make this dimension 38 units and uh, this dimension from this edge to this center it is 20 so let's select this one and i will select sorry i will select this one and i will select this one and this dimension is 20 units and now you can see that these two circles are fully defined i will rotate my view and uh, this extrusion is 24 so let's go to here features extruded boss and uh, i will change the direction and this is 24 millimeter extrusion and select ok and now you can see that we have two solid bodies because this body is not connected to this body yet uh, now i will create this cylinder and uh, this overall extrusion is 36 uh, i will use the same back face to create this uh, uh, cylinder but uh, you can see that we have a 12 millimeter extrusion here and 24 millimeter extrusion here so first direction extrusion would be 12 and second direction extrusion would be 24 uh, it's a little bit tricky but uh, uh, just follow this tutorial so you can easily make it let's go to your solidworks and this time i will use this face the same face select a sketch and i will rotate my view and i will make two arbitrary circles okay these circles are also concentric the bigger one is 55 and the smaller one is 30 as you can see that so let's go to a smart dimension this one is 55 and this smaller one is 30 i will change its dimension to 30 and you can see that it is still underdefined so let's rotate it okay it's fine uh, this dimension is 100 so i will select this edge and i will select this one uh, sorry i will select this edge and i will select this center and this dimension is 100 millimeters and also this dimension is 50 i'll go to a smart dimension again i will select this edge and i will select this center and this dimension is 50 millimeters and now you can see that uh, it is fully defined i will exit this sketch i will rotate my view and i will go to here features extruded boss and i will go to here my design tree i will select this sketch and uh, now you can see that the preview of your uh, extrusion it is not correct so i will extrude in this direction in this direction 12 you can see that this is 12 so this would also be 12 and this is 12 so 12 plus 12 plus 12 makes 36 so uh, i will extrude in uh, this direction 12 and in this direction 24 okay uh, and later we will check this part through evaluate so this dimension would be 12 and i will use this uh, second extrusion and the second extrusion dimension would be 24 so 12 this one and 24 this one it makes 36 
which will be satisfying this render uh, length okay so select uh, this one and uh, okay uh, next is uh, i will create this wall and this wall width is 12 so i will use this same plane and i will extrude uh, in this direction okay so let's uh, rotate this model select this face like sketch i will rotate my model okay so first i will use uh, this circle this circle and this circle and this circle and i will convert these circles uh, in my new sketch okay and uh, now i will make one line joining this point and i will make uh, one line here okay uh, now i will make one straight line this would be tangent to this circle and i will make one arc it would be r25 and i will make one line that would be tangent to this circle so let's make it first i will draw one line here and this line is tangent to this circle as you can see that also this line is tangent to this one uh, i would delete this part later and let's make one uh, okay first i will draw one line connecting this point to this point and you can see that it is also tangent to this circle so let's make uh, one three point arc and uh, this arc is tangent to this line and this arc is tangent to this one and uh, this dimension is r25 so i will make it 25 and now you can see that these arcs are fully defined uh, as you can see that it is vertical but it is not vertical it is a tapered line so basically uh, i have to connect uh, this point to this point and uh, it will complete my sketch okay uh, it is not a vertical line it is a tapered line so i'll go to your line command and i will select this one and i will select this one and uh, select this circle hold control key select this one and you can see that it is tangent and uh, i have to trim this part and i have to trim this part and now you can see that we have a close contour so let's rotate this model and uh, all i uh, all i have to do is to extrude this uh, contour in this direction i'll go to your features extruded boss and i have to use this option reverse direction and i will use 12 millimeter extrusion so i'll go to my drawing and you can see that we have an extrusion of 12 and i will select ok and now you can see that the three bodies are combined to make one body because these three bodies are now connected and you can see that your part preview and uh, uh, now i will check my model uh, through evaluate command uh, so let's first uh, let's say i will check uh, this dimension this dimension would be 36 so let's go to here evaluate it's a very important command and it is very useful when you are dealing with uh, complex or large assemblies so i'll use this option major i will select this face and i will select this face you can see that this dimension is 36 and uh, this dimension would be 12 so select this face and select this face and now you can see that the dimension in z direction in this axis you can see that in this axis is 12 and uh, let's check uh, let's say the distance from this plate to this circle and you can see that it is 100 millimeters as you can see that and uh, let's check let's say uh, this depth uh, let's say this one select this face and select this face and you can see that it is 3 millimeter and also let's say i want to check uh, this pitch so i will clear these selections and uh, i will select this cylinder and this cylinder and you can see that this pitch is 70 millimeters and you can check this minimum distance or maximum distance i will clear these selections lastly let's say i want to check this one so uh, it is 24 so this dimension would be 12 
so let's select this face and select this face and now you can see that this straight distance is 12 millimeters okay uh, now uh, I will apply some appearance to this part so let's go to here let's say metal and uh, in metals I will search for uh, uh, let's go to here metals and uh, I will search for aluminum and I will use this one blue anodized aluminum and now you can see that this appearance is applied to this part and uh, that concludes this exercise and if you have any questions any queries related to this tutorial or any other tutorial in my list you can ask in comment section thanks for watching and please subscribe to our channel for more informative and interesting projects in solidworks and in other in other softwares like solid edge autocad or keyshot etc Thank you.